Best way to start a workout? Stay tuned. Hey, Shauna K, FemaleFatLossOver40.com. Question as to what the best warm-up is uh, before you start a workout. So I thought I'd give you a, an idea of what I do for my own warm-up and what I do with my fitness boot campers. You want to make sure that you're doing a, a three to five minute warm-up before you start your workout. You'll have a better workout and you'll reduce the possibility of injury. So, uh, some people mistakenly do static stretching to warm up, and not a good idea. Your body's not warm, your muscles are not ready for any static stretching. So, what you want to do is you want to do dynamic stretching, which means you're working through a full range of motion for all body parts. So, I'm going to go through a series of exercises with you, uh, and then I'll list them below, and you can can do them uh, and I suggest that you do five to ten reps of each of the exercises and then you go through this series twice so we're going to start with just some basic arm circles so you're going to work both uh, directions on the arm circles from there you're going to go into um, a body weight squat and now you might need to work into depth for this squat so I would do just a straight body weight squat working into depth and then go into an overhead body weight squat where I'm keeping the hands directly over the shoulders so that I'm squeezing through that upper back. So from the overhead squat, I'm going to go into a prisoner position and do a reverse lunge. So I'm going to do 5 to 10 reps on each leg. From there, I'm going to go into a walkout position so that I'm getting into this plank. And now I really love the spider crawl uh, for, uh, for warming up because it warms up through the hips. Oh dear. Now try not to have a one-eyed rescue dog in your workout area. But what I like about the spider crawl is it open up, opens up the hips. Try not to let the hips rock. From here, I'm going to go into a screech, which is a really fantastic upper thoracic warm-up. So I'm just going to hold that position, and then I'm going to go into the other leg. Uh, try and get the foot as close to the hand, and reach up and over and hold it. Do a couple uh, reps of that. Then I'm going to drop to my knees and do five to ten push-ups. I'm going to come back onto my toes, walk my hands out, stand up, hinging at the hip. Now I want to just elevate that heart rate a little bit with five to ten jumping jacks or step jacks and then finish off with five to ten squat jumps or full body extensions. Now I would go through that two times. That's going to take you three to five minutes. That turns out to be uh, you're going to warm up every body part through that, through full ranges of motion. You're going to have uh, better workout performance and you're going to uh, decrease the chance of injury. I just have a great workout after that. Give that a try.